RunwayML.com is doing the best out of any company of applying artificial intelligence to the visual effects industry. Visionary fire. This box can make any idea real. Gen 1 by Runway ML is the foundation of this text-to-video technology and it can already do some pretty amazing things like change this draft 3D render into semi-realistic footage or change this video of books into skyscrapers or change the fur on this dog. And if that's not enough to blow your mind, I'm going to show you the very near future of this tool because RunwayML.com already has 30 powerful AI tools for visual effects. So let's do an overview of every single AI tool on RunwayML.com so you can add these tools to your tool belt instead of being left behind and starting your next project like Windows Movie Maker. I'll also have a link in the description to this awesome visual effects community that'll help you effortlessly stay updated with the latest AI advancements and dozens of of other free visual effects tools on my website. So first of all, rotoscoping. All right, they called it green screen in this application, but it's really rotoscoping. I don't know why they call it a green screen, but this thing is like the roto brush on steroids. Think about how much time you can save with automatic rotoscoping, and this thing does an impressive job. The only catch is it doesn't do a perfect job like you might expect on really high-end projects in visual effects, specifically on the shots where there's a lot of background detail that really confuses it where the edge is at. But I'm gonna show you some secrets that a lot of people don't know about to really make the edge look great. Click on the subject to define where you want the roto to be, and then you just click preview, and just like that, it interpolates that roto throughout the whole shot and does an impressive job. You can go at any frame and exclude parts of the roto. Now here's the secret techniques to make it look great. First of all, they have this small brush button up here. You click that and you can paint just like the roto brush in After Effects. It really helps you get precise. A lot of people didn't know about that one. And also on After Effects, you can apply the key cleaner or refine soft matte that crank up the contrast on the key cleaner. And also you can use this as a core mat and then manually go in and refine certain parts of the roto. And you can export with a black and white alpha mat. <laughs> Imagine all the time you can save with this. The next tool is called impainting because paint outs and object removal is one of the most common jobs in visual effects compositing. But of course it won't work perfectly with complex paint outs. Now how does it compare to the content aware fill feature in After Effects? Well I found that it's a lot faster. Content aware you do have a little bit more controls. You can create these reference frames, dynamic link with Photoshop, but I would say with the Runway ML you can get a better result quicker. Ooh, look at this, AI motion tracking. The track isn't perfect on this, but you can manually adjust the track to make it more precise. This next one is scene detection, so if you have one long video of multiple shots, it'll automatically split that long video into the individual shots. But Premiere Pro also has this feature. And guys, there's nothing better than buttery ass slow motion. This one's useful, so it works better than the optical flow and After Effects, super Twixter slow motion. Wasn't that that old plugin called Twixter? This works better. The next one is similar, it's called frame interpolation. So you just import multiple images and it's going to morph between those images. There's so many ways to be creative with this, possibilities of what you can create. You have to understand about Runway, these tools work together. For instance, you can use erase and replace to create variations of the same object and morph between these objects. You gotta use multiple tools, the possibilities of creativity are endless with this AI. God, oh, this morphing is so cool, man. It's just morphine in my brain. Just kind of thinking, I wonder if you could do like a Hulk effect with this. You know, the Hulk morphed into a big green creature. That would be interesting. This next tool is called Measure Depth. So it generates a black and white depth map where the black colors are further away and the white colors are closer. It's a great way to add fog to your environment by you know, generating the depth map. Camera depth defocus. You can do these parallax effects. This is from a Red Giant live stream, but they created this illusion of a 3D shoe using just a depth map and trap code mirror. Super creative, props to those guys. You can even create old school red and blue 3D with a depth map. <laughs> the option for the optical flow feature, which it generates a different color based on the movement of the pixels. All right, this next one is an AI color grade. It's good to give you ideas about how to do your own color grade. You just gotta be skillful with how you put in the prompt down there. Here, change the random seed. There's different variations for the same prompt. All right, this is an image tool. It's called text to image. So based on the text prompt that you put in, it will generate an image, just a direct competitor to Midjourney, Dolly, 
So I'm gonna show you quickly how to customize the output that it gives. So first of all, we have the prompt weight, which does how creative versus how precise. So then we have the style. You can choose like anime, cyberpunk, futuristic. Then you can choose the medium, which is like painting, drawing, a real photograph. Then we have the mood, which is like colorful, dark, psychedelic. That's what those three parameters means. That's gonna give you good control on what kind of output comes out of your text prompt. So then we have erase and replace. This one is super useful for visual effects and compositing because you can think about it as an alternative to the content aware fill in Photoshop. Content aware fill just more uses the data that's already in the picture, but this gets more creative. So the next time content aware fill is not working, try this. So the next is called background remix. This one, it basically is the same as erase and replace, but it just changes the background of the shot. The use case of this next one is infinite. It's called infinite image. You can extend your image uh, outside the boundaries. So I use this all the time in my compositing work. You wanna move it over and then you gotta do this motion tile, then you can see the mirroring. There's a much better way now. You can extend your image beyond the frame. Just make sure there's some overlap between the things so it'll blend with that. For instance, if there's a corner, you wanna make sure the part you generate has some overlap with that corner. It blends with each side of the corner. Infinite image, infinite thanks to the god of visual effects, artificial intelligence, Runway ML. Now I love this colorized tool here. I'll show you how we used it. So my brother had this really old picture when he was younger, but we wanted to put his picture on our studio website. But we just ran this thing through AI in like a few minutes. We colorized it, changed the background. See, we even extended the edges of it. Look at that. <laughs> so you can see here, we stuck it on the studio website, wizardvfx.com. And then we did, <laughs> so when you hover, it creates a beard. Cause I don't know, like wizard, I thought it was funny. Check out this one, text to 3D texture. So it generates a seamless PBR texture. It has the normal map, the displacement map, real seamless 3D texture. Then we have upscale image. It's a simple way to use AI to increase the resolution of your image. Now I found that there's some other tools that work a lot better than this one. Like there's a tool called Ramini, but it's super good because it works really well with faces. I mean, the amount of detail like Ramini can generate is a lot better than Runway ML, but I'll put a list of every single image upscaler and which one's the best for different situations in the free visual effects community. That's where I post all the resources. Now, this is pretty cool. You can use your own content to train the library. So upload a bunch of images of your own face, and then it'll generate a bunch of AI pictures of your face. But the cool thing is you can give it a keyword and use that keyword in the text to image generation. So if I give the keyword Ian for this face and I use that in the text generation, it'll put that face in the images that you generate. So you can feed your own data into the AI model. You can do it with human faces, pets, or even just general images. They have three different tools for it. Now this one is an audio feature. What it does is use AI to clean the background noise. What's up, P Nation? Today we're in Athens, Greece. Like quantum mechanics, and we're doing like quantum mechanics, and we're doing work super well. Or even her hands on the steering wheel, it removes that and just leaves the vocals crystal clear. Works a lot better than Audition or the traditional sound noise removal. But there's also the Adobe Podcast tool that probably even works a little bit better than this Runway ML tool for cleaning up your audio. So it's pretty amazing if you have bad quality audio and noise everywhere, it fixes it perfectly. Make your audio sound super high quality. That's the Adobe tool. But this one for Runway ML is just better about cleaning the background noise and just contaminating sound. Artificial intelligence is changing the world, it's changing visual effects, and I wanna help you along this crazy ride. Join the community, I hope you stay effortlessly updated. Visit me over at visionaryfire.com my name is Lyndon, and until next time, crush, destroy, annihilate! Visionary Fire.